All right. Chapter 2, Lesson 1 in the 7th grade book is percent of a number. Okay. Here it says some students are collecting money for a local pet shelter. The model shows that they have raised 60% of their $2,000 goal or $1,200. Now, if you look at that, see here 60%, there at that 60% is equal to 1,200, and their goal is a total of 2,000. So, in other words, 60% of 2,000 is 1,200. So here we're going to, um, it says, number one says, fill in the decimal and fractional equivalents for each of the percents shown in the model. So if I look at 100%, um, 100%, the decimal equivalent is one. So how do you think that they went from 100% to the decimal equivalent one? So here... We take this decimal that's at the end of the 100, we're going to move that decimal two places to the left, and we're going to take away that percent sign. That gives us 1.00 or just 1. Is everybody clear with that? Yes. Now, here they have 5 over 5, and I, I believe that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 over 5, that fractional part. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 out of 5 is 1 whole. You got that? All right. So, do you remember way back when, when I were, when we were talking about how to um, change a decimal to a fraction? Well, we'll review it right now. So, again, we're looking at percent to a decimal, right? So, we're going to move this decimal, 80%, move that decimal two places to the left, and what are we going to get? 0. 0.80, right? 0. 0.80. Where this uh, zero, we don't really need that zero, right? So that's going to be uh, 0.8. Now, just as a review, we want to change this decimal to a fraction. So we're going to read it out loud correctly. Then we're going to write it. And then you're going to simplify it. So... This 0 0.8, if I read that out loud correctly, 0 0.8 is what? 8 tenths, right? That is 8 tenths. So you read it out loud correctly, that's 8 tenths. Now we're going to write that. We're going to write it as a fraction. 8 tenths. Then you're going to simplify it. What can I divide into both of those? We can divide both of those by 2. So, when we simplify it, our fractional version of 80% is going to be 4 fifths. And there it is right there. Is everybody clear? All right. So, you're going to read it, you're going to write it, you're going to simplify it. So, 60% as a decimal would be what? 0. 0.5. 6, right? 0 0.6. Then, if I'm going to read that correctly, that 0 0.6 correctly, what is? how do I read that? 6 tenths. So 6 tenths, if I simplify that, becomes 3 fifths. Very good. You see how easy that is? Okay. So 40% would be 0.4. Okay, it's actually 0 0.40, but then that's the insignificant zero, so that's going to be 0 0.4, which is 4 tenths, which simplifies to 2 fifths. Is everybody clear how we're doing this? All right. And then 20%, uh, moving the decimal two places to the left, that gives us 0 0.20 or 0 0.2. And that's going to be, um, if I read that correctly, it's going to be 2 tenths, and two tenths simplifies to one fifth. Got it? All right. Now, number two says use the model to write two multiplication uh, sentences that are equivalent to 60% of 2,000. 
So we know 60% of 2,000 is equal to 1,200, right? So um, what does of mean in math? Right, that means multiply. So multiply. So of means multiply. So that means we're going to take the 60%, we're going to multiply it times 2,000. And then we should get 1,200. So what can I put in place of 60%? Here's 60%. What can I put in there? 0.6 or 0.60, right? Okay. And then of again means multiply. And we're going to multiply that times 2,000. So when you multiply 0.6 times 2,000, what do you get? 1,200. You see? So, if I wanted to write 60% as a fraction, what am I going to put in there? Three-fifths. We already simplified it, right? So, three-fifths, the of again means multiply. And we're multiplying times 2,000. And when I simplify, before I multiply, let's see, 5 divided by 5 is 1. And 2,000 divided by 5 is... 400. And 3 times 400 is 1,200. Is everybody clear how we got that? Very good. All right, so I want you to write, find the percent of a number. And this is what I want you to write here. To find the percent of a number, such as 60% of 2,000, you can use either of these two methods. You can write the percent as a fraction and then multiply, or you can write the percent as a decimal, and then multiply. For example, in example one, it says find 5% of 300 by writing the percent as a fraction. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to write that 5% as a fraction. And remember, percent is per 100. So 5% is 5 over 100. Okay, and then you're going to simplify that by dividing the numerator and the denominator by 5, and we get 1 20th. So now 1 20th is what we're going to find 1 20th of 300. And of course, of means multiply, so we're going to multiply 1, 1 20th times 300. Okay, then you're going to simplify before you multiply, and then we multiply straight across, and we end up with 15 over 1 or just 15. So 15, so 5% of 300 is 15. You got that? You can also change the percent to a decimal. So here we're changing the 25% the by moving the decimal two places to the left and taking away the percent sign. Don't forget, once you move the decimal, you take away the percent sign, okay? So you're going to move the decimal two places to the left and take away the percent sign so that gives us 0.25. Okay? So we have 25 hundredths or 0.25 times times the 180 because again of means multiply. You got that? And of course here, they're showing you the multiplication here, but you guys are allowed to use your calculators, right? So you're just going to type in the calculator 0.25 times 180, and you're going to get 45. So 25% of 180 is 45. All right, so we're going to do example C and D, and we want to find the percent of each number. So for the first one, let's do, um, let's do, let's change the first one to a decimal. Let's do decimal and fraction. Okay, so once again, the first thing we want to do is we want to change the percent to a decimal, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to change the percent to a decimal by moving the decimal two places to the left and taking away our percent sign. Okay, so that's going to give me 0.55. Is everybody clear? And of course, of again means what? Multiply. multiply. So we're going to multiply the of, I mean, we're going to multiply the 0.55 times 
160. So, 55 hundredths times 160 gives us what? 88. Very good. And if you're showing your work correctly, once again, just like we did at the beginning of the school year, you should have your inverted triangle there, right? Okay. So, now let's use the fraction version of the percent. So here, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change this 75% to 75 per 100. So that's going to be 75 over 100. And then we will simplify by dividing the numerator and the denominator by what? Oh, we can do better than 5. 25. Yes. How about dividing by 25? So that's going to give us 3 fourths. So 75% as a fraction is three-fourths. So we're going to take that three-fourths. So we're going to multiply that times 280. And I'll just go ahead and put this over one just to make that nice for you. And now we can simplify before we multiply. So four divided by four is one. And 280 divided by four is 70. So when we multiply straight across, 3 times 70 is 210, and of course 1 times 1 is 1. So our final answer is 210. So we know that 75% uh, of 280 is 210. So now we're going to use percents greater than 100%. Now, this is what I want you to write down in here. Just write these word part, the word part. So percents that are greater than 100% can be written as improper fractions, mixed numbers, or decimals that are greater than 1. So 150% written as a fraction per 100 would be 150 over 100. And then... We could simplify that fraction, um, and don't forget we can take those zeros away to make it easier simplifying. And then we have 15 over 10, dividing both of those, the numerator and the denominator, by 5, and we end up with 3 over 2. So there's my improper fraction, my simplified improper fraction. And then I can change it to a mixed number. So 2 into 3 is 1, with 1 left over, so that's going to be 1 and 1 half. And then, of course, that 1 and 1 half can be written as a decimal that is greater than 1, 1 1.5. So for example 3, these and, and, and 4, they're exactly like the examples that we did before, the examples 1 and 2. They're just using percents. We're just using percents that are greater than 100%. So here we have 120% written as a fraction would be 120 over 100. Okay, if I simplify that, that's going to give me 6 fifths. So that 6 fifths is what we're going to multiply times the 75. So when we multiply straight across, simplifying before we multiply, we end up with 90. So 120% of 75 is 90. Does everybody see that that would make sense? If I'm doing 120%, that's over 100%, right? So that means 100% of 75 is 75. And that means that my, so my final answer should be greater than 75. Does that make sense? Okay. So with uh, changing to a decimal, same thing. We're going to move the decimal two places to the left. So this becomes 1.5. And that is the number that we're going to multiply times 28. So 1.5 times 28 is 42. All right. So, for these examples, let's do, um, let's do uh, decimal and fraction again, right? Okay, let's do decimal here, and let's do fraction here. All right, so as a decimal, 150%, we're going to move the decimal to the left, two places, take away the percent sign. So, the percent is, I mean, the decimal is going to be 1.5. And that is what we're going to multiply 
times 20, because of means multiply, right? So 1.5 times 20 gives us 30. That's as simple as that. Then for the fraction, we're going to write 160% as a fraction. Remember, per 100, okay? So we're going to have 160, let me do this in red, 160 per 100, that's over 100. And now we can simplify this fraction. So we can, again, take away those ending zeros, right? And then we can divide by 2. Very good. Divide by 2 in the numerator and the denominator, and we end up with 8 fifths. Very good. 8 fifths. So that is the number that we're going to multiply times 35. So we've got 8 fifths times 35, and I'm going to put this over, over 1. And now, before we multiply, we should simplify. So 5 divided by 5 is 1. 35 divided by 5 is 7. And then when we multiply straight across, 8 times 7 is 56. 1 times 1 is 1. So my final answer is 56. So 160% of 35 is 56. All right, example five says refer to the graph. It says if 275 students took the survey, how many can be expected to have three televisions each in their house? So the first thing we want to do is look at this, look at the table. So what's the total number of people who surveyed? 275, right? Now, we're going to look at the three televisions. Here's three televisions. And what percent of those people had te three televisions? 23%. So, we're going to ask ourselves, what is 23% of 275? Does everybody see that? So, there's the expression, 23% of 275 and then we simplify that. So here, because 23, um, because I wouldn't be able to simplify a fraction very easily, we can go ahead and change this to a fraction, I mean a decimal. So we have 0.23 times 275, and that gives us 63.25. But can we have 0.25 students? No. no. So the final answer is 63 students can be expected to have three televisions in their house. Is everybody clear? All right. So let's take a look at this example and do this one, too, this, got it together. It says, Mr. Sudamac earned a 4% commission on the sale of a hot tub that cost $3,755. How much did he earn? We want to know how much is the commission. Okay, so you guys, I want you to know that a commission is an additional amount, like added to a paycheck. Okay, so here, make sure you write, write this down so you know what a commission is. A commission is a fee that is paid for a service, and it is usually a percentage. So this is an additional amount. So, just like we did earlier in the school year, we can think of this as a what number is question. Okay, so we can say 4% of 3,755 is what number, right? So we want to know 4% of 3,755. So let's write that expression. 4% of 3,755 dollars. All right, so if we are going to use um, a decimal, we can change 4% to a decimal. We're going to move the decimal here that's at the end two places to the left and take away the percent sign. What do I do with this? You add a zero. Very good. So we're going to end up with 0 0.04 times, of means times, so times 3,755. 
So when we multiply 3,755 times 0 0.04, what do you get? 150.2. Now, this is money, right? This is money. So uh, how much money is this? And 20 cents. Don't forget, this does not say 2 cents. You're going to put, money is always to the hundredths place. So you have to go out to the hundredths place. So this is $150.20 that Mr. Sudamac is going to be, have added to his paycheck.